Okay, so here's my second staff tutorial. Thanks to anyone who commented or messaged me asking for more of these videos. It really does mean a lot. So I thought I'd show you today two moves that people seem to have trouble learning. As they're moves that have a quite large fear factor to them. That is the Steve roll, or to be precise, the half Steve, where the staff rolls down one arm to your neck and up the other side. And the angel roll, which is a similar move, but done on the vertical plane. They're both moves that involve the staff moving at a fair pace towards your face, so people tend to chicken out quite a bit. But really, once you've done them once or twice, it'll not only become much easier, but open up a whole load of other moves for you, especially with the Steve roll and the horizontal plane. When teaching someone how to Steve, there are four things I look for. Firstly, the arm should be straight at first. You may see me bend mine quite a bit as I do it. Secondly, the leading hand should be slightly off centre. The centre of the staff should be just shy of the little finger. As you rotate the staff, you should wait for the little finger end to rotate past your head before letting go, as shown here. If you follow these three things, you should have a Steve roll. Lastly, the biggest mistake that people make is that they do not drop their arm after the staff has travelled up it. I personally think of my arm like a wave with the staff moving along the crest. If that helps at all. <laughs> Once you reach the neck, the second half, raising the other hand to catch the staff, should come fairly naturally and is more of a sort of mirror in motion. You can then progress that into a continuous half steve quite easily. Now the angel roll took me quite a long time to achieve, but I've managed to teach it to people in basically like one session. It's just getting over that initial fear. Again, the scary bit of the move is the beginning. You're basically throwing the staff towards your face. Um, looking at the move front on as well, it seems quite vertical. That is, it seems to spin upright, unlike the Steve. However, if we look side on, we can see there's quite a bit of lean. And that's just to give us the grip that we need to stick to the body. So to start off, pull the staff with a straight arm towards you. You're not going to want to move your elbows at all, but rather just move your shoulder towards you. The majority of the motion is in the wrist. If you're struggling getting the momentum with the staff, push through with your hand to give it that little extra spin. Like most things, with more acceleration you get more control. This is not necessarily the same as speed however, and you should aim to do things as slow as possible to get the feel for it. Once again, like the Steve, once the staff has passed the neck, the other side is simply a case of catching the staff. Turn your body into the movement to make sure you have enough friction for it to complete. You can repeat the motion when you get to the other side in the opposite direction. And ideally you should be practicing with both sides on every move. Uh, also remember that a large part of performing is symmetry. So if you can make the entrance mirror the exit, you can then start breaking that up for particular dramatic effect. Other variations of the angel include the continuous angel, which involves turning quickly to repeat the action. Something which I'm a little rusty at, as you can probably tell. Thanks for watching and I'll certainly be doing more with a much smaller delay in the future. Subscribe and like if you've enjoyed it and I've also posted some links in the description that have inspired me lately. Be sure to check them out.